he must be delighted with the effort of the players. Yep, absolutely delighted. Um, that's a big three points for us. Uh, like I just said, to lose Nigel so early um, was a big blow. Um, I felt we were pretty comfortable in that first half and played some good football. It did the game change on his head with Nigel sending off. Rolled our luck at times, um, defended our goal really well, worked our socks off, um, conceded certain areas of, of possession in certain areas of the pitch. Um, but we withstood it somehow we withstood it um, and we still had a bit to, to break away with Ryan and Nicky and Randall's legs every now and then to, to win a game when you play half a game with, with, with 10 men is, is a credit to that group of players Yeah and against the Forest Green side that moved the ball about well Yeah look, they, they shifted really well um, shifted really well and moved us around and as much as we tried to invite crosses into our box they still got in between the lines every now and then and that's where you keep her and you, you set them out some bodies have got to go on the line um, but like I'd say we might have rolled our luck, but I certainly felt we deserved a little bit of that. Even if we got beaten that game or drawn that game, I'd, I'd have said the same thing in terms of that group of players. Um, I asked them, or I spoke to them before the game about what our best performances of, of 2019 looked like, and then it was just based on the, the basics: quick to the ball, energy, um, staying honest, um, respecting the opposition, and being relentless in, in our waves of energy. And then I've done that for the best part of 45 minutes. We were 10 men against a seriously good team as well. So, like I say, we'll dust them down. Um, we'll have to assess it, switch in terms of what we've got to play. Um, but I can't. Really anyone in terms of the next, that next game and um, we've got ourselves get ourselves ready for, for Cambridge and um, before the sending off uh, the first half performance deserved leaders of the break yeah look, I, felt, I felt we started really well started really well and sometimes when you start a game so well you stop doing the right things and for the second half of the first half if that makes sense um, we just overcomplicated certain aspects of our play we still probably would have better team in that first period um, but like I said the way we started again we just needed to continue that and, and keep our, our foot on the gas so to speak as opposed to over complicating things and, and taking too many touches on the ball keep the ball moving but you know it was a good goal always important to get ahead um, but then the, the second half is, is obviously the, the big talking point in terms of the, the sending off and then the penalty and then the, the pressure we withstood um, it felt a little bit like Notts County last year um, that was I think 70 minutes this, this was like I say 45 minutes um, is what it is to, to win a game of football against a, a promotion contender with, with, with 10 men for 45 minutes I can't say I'm not delighted I've got to touch on a, a few refereeing decisions first of all the, the red card what do you make of that? Um, well if you if you freeze frame it um, a split second before the Forest Green lad touches the ball they're both straight legged they're both honest it, it looked like an honest tackle just a mistimed one um, I'm, I'm sorry Nigel's caught the lad I really am but the ball was bouncing at knee high and both players like I say I'm sure you'll see the picture both players have gone with a straight leg to win the ball unfortunately their lad's got there first and, and Nigel's caught him if that's a red card then it, it's reckless but it's a disappointing one. It's a disappointing one. On the back of there hadn't really been a bad tackle in the game up until that point. He was certainly quick to get the red card out, but we'll assess it. If we appeal it, we we'll appeal it. Um, yeah, that's, that's my comment on that. Um, and then there's two penalties: one that was given and one at the other end. That, yeah, that wasn't. I, I think minimal contact on both. So I'll, I'll speak to Archie about maybe going down too easy. I can't hammer him too much because he's probably got no legs to keep running. Um, and, and we don't want to get our players booked for diving, so I'll, I'll certainly speak to Archie in terms of in that respect. But um, in terms of their penalty, there's, there's minimal, if any, contact, um, and the lad's gone down very easy. But similar to the sending off, he was pretty quick to give it. Um, and just a nice moment at, at the end there, where you, celeb you and the players celebrated in front well, of us. A bit of emotion, yeah. um, a bit of emotion, and, and I've got to keep my cool as much as anyone else. Um, but. I said before the game, sometimes when you win away from home in front of a, a big back and it, it, it knits the group together um, and then you do it and you, when you've got 10 men it, it just strengthens that bond. Nothing better than seeing a, a full away end, I know it's a side of the pitch here, but a full away end full of City fans um, and it's a great way to start a new year for them. And they, and they kept the side going towards oh, the end. Without of the a doubt, but, but they, they? they could see what we were trying to do, they could yeah. see the play, you know, Jaden Richardson bursting forward. Um, Randall bursting forward, Ryan being physical and, and the lads putting bodies on the line so like I say if anything that our XS City fans need to, to see what this group's about it was demonstrated today um, and we've got to take heart from that and, and keep getting stronger.